I just wanted to start this video by saying that I think Knott's is a fantastic park, and this is not meant to be a complaining video, but more of an analysis. Imagine a park located in northern Ohio, far from any major cities, that is closed over half of the year because it's so cold, but it also has 17 of the world's best coasters and is the clear flagship of the Cedar Fair chain. Now imagine a park located in one of the biggest cities in the world, open year-round, attracts more visitors than any other park in the Cedar Fair chain, but is home to just 10 roller coasters, with most of them being for families? What's going on here? How could a park that attracts more visitors than any other Cedar Fair park be stuck in purgatory? In today's video, I'll be discussing the state of Knott's Berry Farm and the Cedar Fair chain, and why I think Cedar Fair doesn't treat their most attended park fairly. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, because it helps grow the channel. Let's get straight into it. Knott's Berry Farm is located just outside Los Angeles in Buena Park, California. This park receives over 6 million guests per year on average which is 2 million more than the second most attended Cedar Fair Park, Canada's Wonderland. This isn't the only similarity between Knott's Berry Farm and Canada's Wonderland. Both parks have developed 100% of their land. However, in the last 10 years, Canada's Wonderland has added the Hyper Coaster Behemoth, the Giga Leviathan, and the Dive Coaster Yukon Striker. These are all massive additions, costing over $20 million each. Keep in mind, this is in a landlocked park. Now let's look at the additions of Knott's Berry Farm over the last 10 years. They added a mock wild mouse family coaster in the form of Coast Rider and the Gerslar Infinity Coaster Hangtime. Hangtime is a medium scale addition and Coast Rider is definitely small scale. Why does Canada's Wonderland get all these big ticket attractions while Knott's is left in the dust? Many people point to land as a reason. Knott's is completely developed and surrounded by city blocks, and while I acknowledge the situation at Canada's Wonderland is a little bit different, both parks are still fully developed. Another reason people throw up is how Disneyland is right by, creating a similar situation like King's Dominion and Busch Gardens Williamsburg. This is true, it makes the fact that Knott's keeps getting family rides even more frustrating. Disney is so close by and is a literal family ride paradise. By adding a major new thrill coaster, Knott's would distinguish themselves from Disney and other family-oriented parks like Universal. I understand Magic Mountain is nearby, but it's really not that close to take a significant chunk of Knott's business. The rumor about a Giga coaster possibly coming to the park is well deserved. This coaster would give Knott's an incredible top three and make them better than Magic Mountain. I would imagine getting the permits to build such a ride could be challenging. But Knott's has been there for a long time, and if you move next to a theme park, no one should be expected. If that giga comes, I'll eat all my words from this video because it finally means that Knott's got the investment it deserves. All the other parks in the area are the flagships of their respective chains. Magic Mountain, Disneyland, Universal, I don't know about Universal, but you get the point. Knott's deserves better. Another park that really makes my blood boil is Carowinds. This park gets around 2 million visitors per year, which is 30% of that of Knott's Berry Farm. 30! Yet this park gets a Hyper, Giga, and Mock Multi-Launch all in the same decade. The only surrounding area nearby is Charlotte, and I guarantee that no matter how many times people point out the growth of Charlotte, it will never come close to a fraction of the size of Los Angeles. Last example, King's Dominion. People love to point out how poor and sad King's Dominion is, when in reality they received both an elite RMC and Giga Coaster in the last decade, and will likely receive a strong replacement for Volcano. Okay, I'm done. But you get the point. I think all these parks are awesome, but I'm just trying to stand up for knots. I understand their family park with the classic Ghost Town, but their thrill coasters always have long lines. Accelerator and Ghost Rider can have upwards of two hour lines, and don't even get me started on the front row for Accelerator. The family coasters can get long lines, but since there are many more family coasters over thrill coasters, the crowds get dispersed across the different family rides, causing them to have shorter waits. I understand that the ghost town is a historic area and stuff, but as someone who doesn't really care about old wooden buildings, 
and would rather be on roller coasters. I don't really care. I really don't understand why Cedar Fair doesn't invest more money in NOS, and it's really frustrating. They have both a major water park and on-site hotel, so what more do you need to make Notch a major destination? A giga, of course! Please, Cedar Fair, I am begging you. Just give poor Knott's Berry Farm a giga. I'm just kidding. But not really. Anyway, if any of you guys know why Cedar Fair treats Knott's as if it were King's Dominion, please let me know in the comments. Do you think Knott's Berry Farm is treated fairly? Thanks for watching, and as always, please like this video, as it helps out the channel against the YouTube algorithm, and hit that subscribe button, because it really helps out the channel. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.